Yesterday, I found a listing on Facebook Marketplace that said, fill your car for 80 quid. What? I wish I took screenshots of this, but I didn't because I wasn't expecting it to go the way that it did. And he's since removed his listing. So I messaged and said, I'll, I'll, t I'll do it, I'll take it. I saw a few cool little things in there, but nothing drastic. I couldn't really see exactly what was there. I get around there. He's just finished up doing all his car boots and stuff. So he's got loads more coming in as well in the next few days to a week. So I'm like, keep me in mind, brother, especially now. So we're going to go through and have a look at what we got. I paid £80 for this whole bundle. I think that works out at less than a pound each, maybe even 50 pence an item. It could even be less than that because there's so many small things in there that will get single listings out of. Let's take a look. The thing is, it doesn't matter where you look. So basically, right, so... A little section here, all that on the floor, not that tub, that's mine. All of this here, this 80 litre tub here, in fact, I think it's 100 litre that tub, because it's too big, it's bigger than my 80s in there. All of this here, all of this here, some aftershaves, some vintage. Let me just turn this off a minute. That's a bit, it's too cold, but I need it on. This, all of this, that's a drone in there. We've got a PlayStation, Mega Drives, vacuum cleaners, bunch of PS1 games. Whatever that is, Minecrafty bits. So that's all that's mine. This is mine. This is all mine. But these 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 um tennis bats are from there. We've got these little alphabet transformers, we've got tons of these. I don't know if they're the vintage ones or if they're the modern ones or not. I need to look into them. But the go the alpha bots, whatever they're called. Tasmanian Devil. That they're all my books. That's what I picked up the other day. Uh cricket bat, that's from there. But there is just tons of it. Look, Hornby stuff. DS. £80 for it all. So I said to him, like, what's going on? Why are you selling up for? He said, the car boot sales are done. He's got storage units full of stuff. So there may be potential for me to get more. See, this thing here, this Nottingham Forest football, it's signed. But the one I sold looked very similar from the 90s. There's just tons of stuff. Tons, I don't even know where to go. Like mixers, there's a big box full of photographs. That tub there is full of electronics. Hick Vision stuff. If that's in there and it's new, that could be decent. Hick Vision sells really well. But there is just so much stuff. My job now is just to crack on and get listing, basically. I've got so much to get through. I'm not overwhelmed. I'm quite, I'm quite looking forward to it. But it's like, you just never know where your opportunities are. And I normally don't respond to those. Oh, shit. I broke my fucking car. And I was around there with my car within 45 minutes. And there was a few more bits that I couldn't fit in the car. But he said, leave it with me. I'll get another load sorted out because I'll message you first. So I'm like, come on. So hopefully this could be relatively regular. Can't guarantee it, but we'll see what happens. We'll see how much he's got going on. Do you know what I mean? Hopefully he doesn't put the listing up anymore and just messages me straight away. But there is all sorts of stuff. I mean, look at all these things. I'll bring you here. I'll bring you around. Tons of like vintage pipes. You know, some of these can be decent. There's markings on some of them. A Zixel, good brand to look out for. I don't know what these are. I don't know what they are. There's a camera in there. PS3 games. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick stuff out and start listing it. And maybe show you a couple of pieces we've got. Obviously, I can't show you all of it. It is just ridiculous amounts. But I do need to start, you know, wearing some of this down. So, as always, what I'm going to do... This is how I like to work. I'll grab the most emptiest box that I can. I'll take a picture of the label. So, as that box starts to fill up... I know that everything from the label picture, so H for example, all the pictures after H belong in H. And when that box is full up, I'll take a picture of E. Then I know that all the pictures following that belong in E. So when it comes to me sitting down, putting on a film and listing stuff, I know where everything belongs. I do actually send it all over to my iMac. My iMac? Wow! My MacBook, which has folders A to Z and a not screwed folder and a shelf folder. And that's where I send it from. I normally list from my Mac. Unless I'm listing on Vinted, then the majority of the time that is on my phone. Although I do list a lot of Vinted on my Mac as well. So who knows? It depends what I want to do at the time. But I've got so much stuff to get through now. I'm obviously going to go through all of the stuff that doesn't need testing first. Just stuff that I can just grab and list. Start moving all of that. And then I'm sure I'll get down to the pile that needs. I just spotted an Xbox One as well. Look, Xbox One. 
I'm sure I'll get to the pile that needs testing and that'll just sit on my shelf for 12 years like the rest of it does. You know? But what a wicked little score. I don't know if there's anything amazing in here or not, but I haven't gone through it or I haven't had a chance to. I just brought a few plastic... I had All I had was one plastic box and a few Ikea bags and he just said, look, move out of the way. I'll load the car. So I just went, crack on then, mate. And as he's putting things in, I was going, oh, God. It could all be a load of shit for all I know, but it doesn't seem like it. Some good bits in there. Vintage action, men. You know, the way I was looking at it was a lot of the stuff that doesn't need testing is going to get my 80 good work, regardless. There's wrestling figures, all sorts of stuff. So, fantastic little score, and hopefully a potential nice continuation moving forward. We can get some stuff. Almost choked over my own words then. It's very early. I've had an emotional morning. My God, I found some dude's TikTok, Ben Coles, whatever his name is, and talking about like childhood trauma and emotions and how you deal with things in life. And I was just like, <laughs> I need to go do some work. Sometimes in life, people catch you off guard and get you inside your own head in good ways. You know, there's these good people that come along. I think his name's Ben, is it Ben Coles or something like that? I was just scrolling TikTok and there he was. His name is Ben Cole Edwards. Just talks about like, childhood traumas and how you deal with things now you're an adult and all these things you don't realise are happening but they are and I was just like <laughs> let's go film a video and do some work <laughs> classic response apparently but yeah some nice I don't know what Kenwood is that a mixer Kenwood mix K mix is that a blender I don't know but I'm going to start I've also got a pile of stuff here I need to list. I've just got, I've got bags of stuff over there from the video you saw yesterday. As I was editing the video, I realised that the rest of my stuff was in the car, so I couldn't finish the video. I was editing it like late in the evening, so I was like, no, forget it. I'll just put that up. You can see the stuff tomorrow. So I might show you that at some point as well, but this has obviously become a priority at the moment. So I'm just going to start grabbing boxes and filling them up with stuff while taking photos, basically. I'm going to have to take photos of these glassware things first. I think I'm not sure... I don't know where to begin, but we're not complaining. We've taken photos of the glass we picked up from the charity shop, and now we've just started to move on to the stuff that we picked up the other day. This is the first one being listed. I've taken my photographs. Can't remember what box I put it in. C, I think. C. Brand new. Listing to those are around about 200 to 300. Pre owned 90 to 100. Again, 150. The prices are so all over the place. When it comes to listing stuff like this, the most important thing is to put the whole model number in because a slight change in the model number can mean pounds, either less or more because of the variation of the, of the item. So that's the first one down. I've just grabbed my next selection, which I think I'm going to put all these perfumes through, but would you believe what I've just found? So this is a vintage M&S perfume from Florentina. Please look, can you see? Oh, I'm hoping this will focus. Come on, there you go. Can you see that at the bottom there? If I, if I move it around. Bro, there's a fucking fly in there. There's an actual fly in the bottle. How'd that even get in there? How's that even got in there? I thought these are sealed on top. I've got no idea. Let me see if that does actually... No, you can't pull that off. That fly, how's that got in there? It's like amber. It's like Jurassic Park, isn't it? How's that going there? How's that done that? And how old is that? <sighs> Mystery. So out of all of these perfumes, I don't know what I'm going to do with that one. Would you, could you say, I don't know, I'll just forget that one even exists. It's only about a tenner anyway. But this one here, Samsara Guerlain Paris. I've never heard of it before. It's a vintage one, it's discontinued. Some of these bottles can go for like 100, 150 quid for the 100 mils. I've seen some of the 30 mil versions with different bottles go for 80 to 90. I can't find this bottle anywhere, this shape anywhere. It's practically full, if not full. So I'm hoping we're going to do very well on that one. That could be money back for the whole lot, just there. Fantastic. But that fly, that amber bottle trapped mosquito, Jurassic Park, do I unfreeze it and try and breed it and see if I can bring back the dinosaurs thing is absolutely wild. I've tried to take this off. I can't, you can't take it off. So it's like, was it in there before production? But how did it get in there? 
could it have been a lava or something that's gr but then how's it grown and formed into a fly and got in there because if you know how the cycle of a fly works it starts off as nothing i don't understand it i'm baffled i'm absolutely baffled i can't spend any more time thinking about it otherwise i'll lose my mind back to the listings well i'm going through this box of vintage pipe stuff and i think there's an absolute freaking gold mine here i think there is tons of tons of tons of money now that's a wee flap but this here is a backy flap. See that? Parker backy flap. Bake light, 1930s, give or take. It's about 15, 20 quid there I was looking at. Trying to find out some information. Could be even more. Could be even more. Once they're listed, they're sold. But there are tons in here. Loads of names on them as well. Picked out a few to note. Um, this one here is full of like, paraphernalia. Pipe tamping stuff lighters now we know that those sort of like accoutrements when it comes to pipe smoking and things like that can be very profitable this is a fun looking thing that looks like silver that was to me but we've got tons to go through this thing here i need to actually i think we're gonna look at this together actually it's quite a fancy long pipe I mean, you can see all the chewed ends are a bit weird but why there's muck there's brass that ah. let's look at that one. let's look at that one together what does it say there church warden london made church warden london made now a lot of people are listing them as ready to smoke they obviously know how to clean them out oh, i haven't got time to go for that i can't bother church warden london made pipe 25 16 35 mine's box with a few bits 40 quid I think we can do very well. We've got tons and tons of stuff in here. We've got a velvet pipe there. But all of these have names on. I think that looks like silver there. What does that look like there? Like a silver. Silver brain. KMP. Peterson's. Lots of cool. I love stuff like this. I absolutely love bits like this. So I mean, but they need a lot of cleaning, a lot of work. I'm just going to pick out any with names on. I'm going to research the names. If I've got a bundle of the same name, I'm going to put them all together and run an auction. And anything left that I have that doesn't have names, like this one, okay, it has a name, Kilimanjaro. I wonder if it's made from there, but let's say it didn't have a name, I'll just put them all together. But if there's any that stand out, like, I don't know, this one here, made in the USA, nice little amber, I don't know whatever you call that bit, corn cob, Missouri. If that could be worth some dough, do you know what I mean? I'll lift it singularly. I think we're going to do very well out of this bundle here. That might take up the rest of my day sorting this out. Might. Nah. Right, there's a lot of cool stuff in here. We've got reamers, hedgehog reamers. That's obviously to clean the bowl of the pipe out. But my favourite thing so far out of all this box, which is going to be easy to list, is this Cerome lighter. It's made in Japan. It's a pipe lighter. So you hold it this way. Flame comes out this way and you can light your bowl. There you go, specifically for pipes. Then we've got a couple of lighters here. We've got a nice vintage Ronson lighter. This is a dual flame or a dual control flame, so you can control the strength of the flame. And this one here, I've never actually heard of this brand before. Rodan. Rodan. Let's have a look. Oh, let's have a look together. Rodan lighter. Not massive money, but all right. So what I'm going to do is list a few of these easy things like these. I'm going to keep that. This is a... Um, reamer as well i think like a pipe cleaner thing and vintage darts we'll keep them out um i'm going to keep these stands to one side in fact i'm going to put them back in the box when it, when it comes to listing i might use these stands to list a few so i've decided i'm not going to do any more today of those i'm just going to do some of this easy stuff like pipe bags there's a vintage but i don't think these are going to be any good to be fair they're all sort of sticking together but this is a bit weird it threw me off i was like oh my goodness what is that some kind of vintage you know what and that turns out it's something to do with tobacco and pipes and stuff so probably no good it's broken but you never know that's all i'm going to do on them bits today the rest of it i'm just going to slowly work through i think with christmas coming we had to move over and get those christmas bits sorted out we got some like nativity scenes there. No, they're not even nativity scenes, they're just Christmas scenes. Little villages, some little light up penguins. Had to get those up, otherwise I'm gonna hold on to them for another year and we do not want that. Made a nice little hole down here, found some planes. I forgot you put those in as well. 
there's just tons that I need to go through. That box there is quite interesting at the bottom. If I get around to that in this video, I'll show you. Like, what the do I know about drones? Like, is that good? Is, that, is it good or... It feels cheap, but it looks... With anyway, this, just... I, don't, I've got, I can't charge that. I've got no charger for that. Is it good? Can I just sell it for spares? Like, I don't know, but that's why I like this job. Sometimes it forces you to learn stuff. Let's see if we can uh, goggly lons it. Put that on my phone is. There it is. All right. Let's goggly lons it. £103. £102. I don't know. What about this? Let's see if we can Google lens that one. Let's get a picture of it. There we go. So I guess it's probably all right. Hubsan Black Brushless RC Quadcopter. Does it mean it's not a drone? <laughs> I don't know. Still cool. I'll probably spares repairs it. Bosh. Seems I'm updating you more than I thought I was going to. So it turns out these are actually camping chairs. There's a headrest, folds out into this. You put the legs through and you've got collapsible chairs. There's two of those. One, two. I'm actually gonna put those up because Emma, Emma could probably do with those. So we'll soon find out. It works, but it needs cleaning a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. They sell for around about 50 quid. I'll probably list it for around about the same money after I've taken it indoors and washed it and try and get most of this off and just take off us from there. Because like I say, I've made profit back. Hopefully on most of this stuff I've even shown you today. In fact, I know I have. So it gets to the point where I can start listing things cheaper because I want to move it on. So it's going to take a little bit of cleaning though. That's going to have to come inside and get hot and soapy. Probably that as well. Don't pick my wipes are going to be just good enough for that but that's a nice little turn isn't it we're doing very well just here i've spotted we've got some like little car bits here where did i see it oh here there's a hornby stuff so we've got a hornby station master set there and then here hornby tracks gauge locomotives loads of bits and pieces these look cool got two of these i want to see what these are I'll list these after I've taken that indoors. Photograph them, I mean. When I say list, I mean photograph. Some handling stuff. So I think these are, what is that? Rental, critical gauge. Is that for the ear? Is that for the eye? Yeah, of course it is, retinal. So some vintage optician stuff. Let's have a little look together, shall we? Hamblin. What was it? Retinal. Let's try that, see what comes up. Good gauge, because that's a long word for me, the other one. I don't know, maybe I'm putting something wrong in there. Oh, TFL, I don't know. Hamblin. Hamblin. Don't know, who knows, but I don't know, it could be worth a couple of bob. A couple of bob like. That's what we need, isn't it, in life? A few bob. All right. I'm actually going to leave this video here and I'll see you tomorrow with a sales update and we'll go through some more of the stuff that I picked up and hopefully we can find some more gems. It's exciting because I don't know what's in here myself.